Alex Pina. sets again I started feeling my glutes a little bit um, but I managed to get through all of the reps and sets uh, without injuring myself which is always good um, so moving on to incline bench now uh, and then accessory That's it. close okay so I'm back from the gym um, really good session actually um, my glute was feeling it a little bit but no more than usual um, and I managed to get through a reasonably heavy sets um, without it really affecting me at all um, I could feel it like I said but um, not to the point where I thought it was going to get injured so that's obviously progress um, it's probably something to do with the fact that I am bulking pretty freaking hard at the moment um, I'm actually weighing around 91 kilos in the morning so I'm only two kilos away from my weight category at the moment which is a little bit worrying um, I need to sort of slow down the cut a little bit um, which brings me on to the main topic of the video which is cutting out alcohol which is very ironic because I'm going for cocktails tonight but what I mean is um, I'm basically just going to be cutting out um, drinking during the week. Um, I don't. I might have a couple of drinks at the weekend um, if I'm going out. I'm not going to like limit myself completely, but I have noticed that during the week I will just go for sort of random beers with mates, as you would have seen in my last video with Sam. I've sort of just gone out um, even after the, the gym and just kind of got a pint, which is obviously not ideal, especially if I'm prepping for a competition. I want to be sort of not 
putting empty calories into my body with no nutrition whatsoever. So I've decided after tonight um, that I'm just going to cut out alcohol as much as possible and when I do go out at the weekends, if I go out at the weekends, um, I'm just going to really limit the amount of alcohol that I consume because like I said it is empty calories. Um, I put a video up not too long about not, not too long ago about alcohol and powerlifting. I can't remember exactly what I talk about but I know it involves um, it features Team for Never Lean who talk about alcohol and why it's not necessarily beneficial for powerlifting or why it's not beneficial for powerlifting. So yeah, go and check that out if you haven't seen that. Um, but yeah, I need to go and get ready because I'm running late as usual. So I need to go have a shower, get ready and then go and have a couple of drinks. And then I'm cutting them out. That's it. No more drinks. That's probably a lie, let's be honest. Next video, Matt gets smashed and is found in a ditch. Who doesn't love a cocktail? Alright guys, so this is the end of the video. Thank you so much for watching. Please leave it a like if you have enjoyed it and if you haven't already, please subscribe. Um, my next video, I'm going to be talking about powerlifting belts or weightlifting belts. Um, over the years, I've accumulated a number of weightlifting belts or powerlifting belts, as have my mates. So what we're going to do, are we are going to get all of our belts together in the gym and we're going to compare and we're going to come up with what we think is the best powerlifting belt at the moment on the market so look out for that video that should be my next video if we can uh, get everyone to bring their belts in tomorrow when we squat so hopefully that be my next video um yeah like i say leave it a like leave the video a like subscribe if you haven't already um and have a great weekend i'll see you in the next video peace